Hello everyone! Today we'll be talking about how to cut in half the time you are currently spending studying at home and how to make that time more efficient. Besides the tips I will be providing in this video, I've created a printable PDF with a list of smart ways to improve your studying techniques. You can print it and keep it near your study station to stay focused and get motivated to achieve your goals. This is the fourth video on my Back to School series and just like I did last year, I'll be providing the schedule for all the videos you might expect during this summer, plus a few unannounced bonus videos and surprise giveaways that may pop up any day of the week. If you want to stay in touch, it is very important to subscribe and click the bell button to get notified whenever there's a surprise giveaway or a freebie coming up in a new video. For even more bonus content, I will be posting study tips on my Instagram and a new blog post up on my website each Sunday. All the links will be provided down below, so let's get started with today's video. One of my professors at law school told our class that if we gave it 110% during class, we would be cutting the time spent studying at home at about 70%. At the time, I thought it was a way to motivate us to participate and take good notes, but after I graduated, I can tell you that it is definitely true. The amount and quality of information you retain during class are the foundation of the work you will have to endure later at home. The better you understand the subject during the class that is being lectured, the less you will have to reread and study your textbooks over and over again at home. By focusing and working hard during your classes, you can save precious time doing other enjoyable things or even expanding your knowledge on the subject further by reading secondary materials. Multitasking is not a very smart way to get your work done fast. For instance, if you have two hours to tackle two tasks, focusing on one task at a time will force you to divide your two hours into one hour blocks of really focused work. This will allow you to achieve a better result. Multitasking will throw you into this loop of shifting your brain main focus back and forth between two different ideas or assignments. Although you might complete them at the same time, granting you a false sense of achievement of having been able to tackle two things at once, you'll probably find out that instead of taking two hours, you actually spent one more just trying to balance the two tasks you had to complete. I truly believe this is one of the most common misconceptions and something that harms students more than it helps them. Rewriting notes can be a wonderful thing if you don't mind spending your time at home every single day of the week going through each concept that you have learned. However, the amount of time you are spending rewriting these notes is also taking away valuable time spent preparing lectures, solving exercises or creating effective study materials. If you don't have the flexibility to produce a good batch of notes while you are in class and feel the need to transform those messy notes into well-produced materials, try mind mapping instead. This exercise will transform your materials by creating visual connections between concepts and notions. You will still be rewriting your notes, but instead of mechanically copying what you've written during class, you'll produce valuable materials to help you study down the road. It also allows you to summarize information that you've learned in previous classes by relating those concepts to the concepts you're learning today. Instead of focusing hard on learning or memorizing pure theory, try to anticipate your exam questions. Use textbooks, previous exams and practice papers to create your own questions. So set a timer and go through those mock exams during the semester. As you solve them, consult your materials and try to understand the type of information your professor would find valuable for you to insert in your answer. This will allow you to come up with a solid structure for all future answers where you can provide for a core theory, examples and even secondary information that your professor may find interesting. You can then write these step-by-step -step guides in flashcards. Instead of memorizing sentences and strict concepts, Allow yourself to create a solid structure that you can practice at home and then remember instantly during a midterm or a final exam. Studying out loud is one of the most powerful ways to learn your material. This method can take more time than reading and can be hard to implement if you live with roommates or family and hate to be speaking in front of a wall for hours. 
However, if you can get past this obstacle, pretending you're explaining the material you have to learn to a room full of people will automatically create a flowing structure in your head, forcing you to simplify information in order to explain it to someone else without knowledge on the subject. While you are explaining a chapter to an invisible audience, you start making connections between concepts that you haven't done before and things in general start to make more sense. Surprisingly, you will remember this mock presentation for days and even weeks and as long as you use a good outline to prepare them, you can always revisit the key points of your speech and practice before your exams. In the beginning of the year, plan ahead every study session and break down topics into chapters and subchapters. This will allow you to have a complete overview of how much time you'll be spending until the end of the semester studying to master that topic. This will create a feeling of responsibility towards the amount of material you need to cover during the week, as you know that, according to your schedule, you will be able to master your class if you just follow your self-appointed schedule. By complying with your schedule, you can use all of the remaining time in your calendar to do things you enjoy, without feeling worried that you are not making enough time for studying. I want to thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Skillshare is an online learning community with more than 20,000 classes in art, productivity, study skills and more. Premium membership gives you unlimited access to high-quality classes from experts working in their fields so you can improve your skills, unlock new opportunities and do the work you love. I'm currently watching this class on photography skills and that has been helping me learn new things and consolidate my own knowledge on the subject. Skillshare is also more affordable than most learning platforms out there. An annual subscription is less than $10 a month and the first 500 people to click the link in the description box below will get their first two months of unlimited classes for free. For more tips, don't forget to download the free PDF linked in the description box and I'll see you next week for a new back-to-school video. Bye!